lesbian. She knows that she is a woman and she knows she has a vagina. She knows that she has breasts, but she knows that she can give you a nine inch uh, uh, rubble thing and, and, and put it down. You get what I'm saying? And she's proud of that. And she don't want no dick. The, the, the part of it being disrespectful is not that a, a, a man is trying to holler at a woman. It's the reference he gave in the song. That's number one. But number two, I don't... Not only do I not like women, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like even if I was to give a man a chance, it wouldn't be you, baby. So, you know, he acting like he Chris Brown, able to just say some shit like that. No, Kodak, it don't work out like that. How you a girl but don't want you penetrated? How? How you a girl but don't want your shit penetrated? How you a dude with an asshole that don't want your shit penetrated? Like, it's gay men out here too. They get their ass penetrated. Why you ain't getting yours penetrated? Like, see, a nigga be ready to slap me, cuz. Let me tell you something. Mouth get real reckless. Oh, it's Stop playing with me. Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, my homie just smashed scoring touchdowns. She got some good cat, nigga, we could go rounds. Take me in, shit, I kinda want some more now. Uh, bust down, Tatiana, bitch, nasty. I used to like a sweet and look class. But behind closed doors, she let me have. What's up, y'all? She girl, Nick G, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my people, Ray and Nay. It's a uh, nice looking couple. They currently have 720 subscribers, y'all. Please get them to a thousand a day. I, today I had a terrible day, okay? And hey, I'm doing for me because today just just wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? And I need y'all to do that for them, for me, okay? Um, they do all types of videos, challenges, mukbangs, um, girlfriend or boyfriend tags, pranks. And they are on the rise to that YouTube stardom, and I like it, okay? I need y'all to definitely go subscribe to them tonight. At least get them to 1K. Everybody loves to be over 1K. And if you could do that for them today, that'd be great. You get what I'm saying? So, um, other than that, y'all, enjoy this video. For those who are going to ask where Tori is, Tori recorded this on her channel already. So, y'all go watch it. We are focusing on our own channels and we already have a joint channel called Royal Reacts. That's where me and Tori will be. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. Let's get to this video, man. Let's get it. I used to do a thing called have a royal seat before a lot of y'all came um and it was cool but keeping up with drama is so much it takes so much of your energy it's like ugh. a lot of time but i know you guys want the tea but it's okay for me to just say i want to take a break i okay. wasn't gonna hold out on you guys for three mondays so i was like you know what let me talk about some of this mess but before i start i just want to say i might be partnering with this guy right here his name is kwan he makes the head wraps I be wearing, and I'm going to create my own head wrap for you guys to wear and purchase, and also these shirts. This one says Little Oz. Mm -hmm. And he has some um, Hey Friend shirts. You know, we're going to talk about it, discuss things, tweak some stuff, and then we'll be on the way to you guys. But anyway, I ain't going to put all the time. Or prolong. prolong. Not be long the time. the time. Like be long, prolong. I'm not going to hold you up. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get right into this mess. Let's get messy. First of all, we have Washington Almighty J versus some Bro, that was messed up. That whole thing that happened with him was. It was ridiculous. Now, granted, we wasn't there, so I don't really know what happened. Like, I don't know if he was talking shit, and then he got his ass whooped, you know what I'm saying? Because most of the time, that's how it happened. Or if they just literally just wanted to rob him because he was flexing before, you know what I'm saying, he got on, um, before he went out, he was flexing on uh Instagram was saying, you know, he the best dress and all that. But I that ain't no reason to to jump nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he was saying. Okay, now he got jumped. Now he was in New York. People say I mean y'all know he talk a lot of mess. He likes to, you know, flash his money, flash his chains and things like that. I don't know what brought about this conflict between him and these guys. But he took his ass to NYC and while he was out of NYC 
He got drop tickets. K N E E. Me. Okay. He really did though. That's the YBN nigga. Take his ticket. And that's so lame for like ten niggas to sit there and jump him. Like it didn't take that many of y'all just to, you know, what I'm saying, do what you do what you was gonna do or whatever. Granted, he probably put up a fight. Oh, I don't know. But first of all, that was stupid because you could you should have had your own security. Or you should have had that iron on you. And you should have had 10 bullets to put in each one of them niggas. You get what I'm saying? For real. Like, I don't understand how you you think you so free that you can walk around with all this money and all this jewelry and, and nobody touch you? Like, and then, you know, if you talk about it, you got to be about it. So it's like, I still don't, it shouldn't have happened though. Take a chance. Take a chance. That's the YBA, nigga. He well, got a bottle though. They had made a pretty big gash in his face, which was horrible. I don't think anybody deserves that. I don't care how bad you talk about somebody. Right. But you didn't deserve to get cut in your face like that. He had these stitches to close it up. They stole his chain. Just a lot of stuff. It was crazy. They stripped him of his shoes, everything. I was like, oh my God, the poor baby naked. Kicked him in the like, face. <laughs> they did him dirty. Oh my God. I said, you something while I'm eating away. Oh my God. I just took him out all of them. Cassette tape. <laughs> I would have sent you some clothes, babe, but it is what it is. Anyway, so then come to find out his friend had FaceTime. He showed that he was okay. And then a couple of days after that, he released his new CD or song or something like that, honey. And it's out. Are you with me and turned on me for a bad? I don't know. Gotta watch these niggas. Surrounded by fake friends. That fame changed me, but it changed you. Wanna eat together. He turned on you for eight bands, I hope. You didn't owe him them eight bands. Because if you owed him him eight bands and you thought, you know, how you just going to turn on me for eight bands? You People do not play about their money. A lot of people trip by $20. You get killed for $20. Eight bands? Run me my back. Sound like he got jumped for a reason. So, shout out to Almighty Jay for sticking in there and just being cool. Then the boys turned around and they posted up that they wanted to sell his chain bag. But they were going to sell it to the Black China. We gotta get that chain back. You hear me? I ain't gonna lie. We trying to get it. We trying to get it back to the Belonga. Niggas contacted some way somehow. Black China. Black China says she got twenty thousand dollars for the chain. I told her you got half this shit. It's not worth no twenty. She's on some like it's it's besides the point. I got problems with. Him. I'm the one that bought in this chain. Blah blah this. Blah blah that. So honestly speaking, this chain is going back to black chain. That shit crazy. Oh, I'm just, like, <laughs> just imagine a nigga saying, bitch, hell no, I ain't giving you your chain back. And then he get robbed and she... I ain't gonna think like that. <laughs> I'm about to say, sound like black trying to set my boy up. Then again, she probably did not. Mm -mm. Next case. <laughs> Next case, please. At this point, I'm not serious. I don't know what the fuck going on. Is it? Things police and TMZ and World Star suck my f dick. Y'all niggas police too, my nigga. Anyway, well, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't really get too much about it. Just There's no way in the fuck you can get your ass whooped like that and come back alive and still be talking shit. Uh. -uh. Okay. I'll be quiet, quiet. It ain't about me. <laughs> Let's keep Next game. Not the mother. Shouts out to you, but baby, I know everybody has their own opinions. They can say what they want to say, think how they want to think, but just be aware of what's gonna happen after you say what you say and how you feel. Just like when I said something, one of my birthdays, I'm thinking that's neither here nor there. So, Jess <laughs> Hilarious was boarding the plane, and while she was boarding the plane, she saw four guys who to her look suspicious. So we're on our flight. <sighs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Jess, this is not 2001. When was it? 9-11? Yeah. Just hilarious, this is not 2001. Okay? Now, I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying, you know. I See, I don't even want to go there because I, I don't... You never know who supports you, you know what I'm saying? So, you, you, you can't just go talking about Muslims and, and you know, whatever people you're gonna talk about. But, um, it's not 2001, you know what I'm saying? She probably could have held that one in right there. When she posted that, she got a lot of backlash. 
And the people were telling her she was racist, she was this, she shouldn't judge me by the way they look. So then she goes and she speaks about how she feels with the folks said to her. We, we, were on the, we were on the plane for like an hour and um, did not get to pull off. Um, everybody was coming at me, oh you racist, you f Because I pointed out four different people that I saw on the plane earlier. So when we had to evacuate with no reason at all, nobody said anything. We just had to evacuate. And I don't see the same four people that I've seen before. Apologize. That's what y'all need to do. Stop being so scared. Because that's one thing I'm not. I'm not scared. Wait a minute. So you got them kicked off the plane, but you talking about you not going to be scared. You did that because you were scared. That's number one. But number two, you got these men kicked off the plane. They probably wasn't by, by nothing. They were probably just trying to get to where they had to get to and go on about their business. But knowing damn well you was recording, you done stopped them from going where they was going. That's crazy. And you talking about apologize. <laughs> All right, Jess. She tripping on that one. So why you mad at them for calling you racist? That's how they feel. I mean, because if you see these guys, these guys ain't done nothing. She didn't buy a chicken. They done did None. this. They done did that. They None. went to the security shed. Why are you feeling threatened every day that they say something? That they do something? They do nothing. Why do you feel threatened? So then she went and she closed this up. She was like, I'm not a racist. I'm not this. Y'all can't even get mad at me for being scared. If I've been to any Muslims, I'm sorry. And but she, what? She just said that she wasn't scared. People were saying she's the one that got them kicked out the plane. And Jess was saying she didn't have no, no parts in them getting kicked out. But what she's forgetting is you are big on social media. You don't know who follows you at that airport and who saw what you post and was like, well, maybe she has a point. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. That's a mess. But at this point, child, I'm trying to get me a bean pie because them motherfuckers is good. Anyway, so. <laughs> she could have kept day, that one. Everybody's not out to get us. Just want to fly. I mean, I, I feel that because us as black people, and I'm not just saying us, because I have a whole, you know, demographic of people that follow us, different, different, different demographics. So with black people, there's a lot of shit that goes on on the Internet and, and everywhere, obviously, that can destroy us. You know what I'm saying? We get beat up for just, you know, being black. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you can't. You, you can't take it out on everybody. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? But she was afraid. She was dead ass afraid. She did not want a 9-11 situation at all. And she was crying out for help on the internet. And it actually worked because they got kicked off. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, oh my God. Me? Let's keep it. Next case. That's what the we have. Osiris, Osiris, whatever. I don't know how to say that boy name. For those who didn't know, he was talking to Dream Doll, but now all of a sudden, Dream Doll is talking to Bobby and Almighty J. Yo, this girl is a crybaby. Look at her. Get the camera on. She threatened to hit me and she cried. I don't get it. No, no, no. You cannot, sir, get your ass whooped. And then put me on camera talking about I'm a crybaby. You better stop. Oh, she nice. Because I would have had something for his ass on that one. He probably would have beat her up, though. She looked like she'd beat him up, too, though. I ain't gonna lie. At this point, it's just, I don't know. Whatever the heck, baby. She with somebody. So, anyway. Well, I'm not a Jake out her. I wouldn't even. Focus, I, I wouldn't even been with him. Like, you don't have enough sense to have security and a gun to protect yourself. Because, you know, you got a lot of money and a lot of jewelry on. I'm not about to be with you. You can't even. You can't even protect me. Why Why would I do that? Absolutely not. So got upset about it and he blocked Dream Doll and he blocked a bunch of other girls. Now, he the, blocked Kennedy. Is, the reason he blocks these girls is because he will ask them out or something. And if y'all turn him down or don't want him, he blocks you. Hey, Osiris. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he blocked me. He blocked you. Because Why? I didn't want to talk to him. And he got booty hurt, so he blocked yeah, me. Yeah, I got to go on my face. Are you serious? Just because of that, I'm, I ain't even going to look. I'm passing you. Yeah. That's Peg, Daddy. I mean. Hey, Peg, Daddy. I guess he's upset because y'all ain't going for what he said in that song. I'm like, you the world, and the girl, you got to be worth it. I ain't even know that was his song. <laughs> 
<laughs> he acting like the same. girls didn't walk the world. Oh, right? <laughs> So he's upset. Dream dog, she replied to him. She said she tell all the business. I don't know. Everybody just missing. They just want to tell folks business or they fall out. That's why I, I can't do all that dating stuff. Who blocked folks because you don't want to date them? I thought you Girl, ain't yeah, nobody talking to nobody nowadays. Let me tell you something. You know, the world's so crazy. I don't even see how people date anymore. Like, everybody's not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Giving benefits of the doubts, okay? Um, but, bro, I'm not dating nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to have to, me and going to have to stick this thing out. Because I ain't got time. I trust her over any anybody, to be honest. But, these girls will set you up. They'll set you up. I ain't got time. Really hurt. YBN probably got set up. Yeah, the world, because he couldn't get it, girl. He, oh, he gonna take it away. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if it ain't about me, he's just trying to give you the W-R-L-D. <laughs> Oh, that's her crying, that baby. Hearing all that, I was like, okay. <laughs> like out of all people, you had to sleep with his cousin. Like out of all people, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have to do that. <laughs> I know you had. Right. All the niggas on the internet. I was just like, this, I said, this can't be real. This can't be real. The cousin. Everybody. <laughs> But see, she done went out and did Tom and Jerry, and boom. Now she getting exposed on the internet for sleeping with his cousin. <laughs> At least he wasn't sleeping with her cousin. <laughs> and you over here looking stupid, waiting like a dumb puppy. Execute her! <laughs> she said she started fucking around. And then come to find out, she was told that that was his cousin. So she was like, oh my God. And she said, what makes her so mad is that he's trying to sit here and publicly talk about her and bash her. She was the I don't care what the fuck y'all say. I gave that nigga my all plus more. He got my money. He got money and changed up on me when we was down bad and broke together. I was the only person working, making ends meet when nobody was. Only girl that was definitely him when he had nothing before the rap game. And she said once he got his money is when he started acting funny and doing all this other foolishness with these girls. Trying to act like he tough. And I can believe that. I went through that same thing. You take a dog to the bank. You take a dog off the street. You give him in a flea bag. Take him to a vet and make him look good, and now he think he is the best dog on the mother street, bitch. No. And that's what he <laughs> Who did. Who did he get that so to? She says, "Why don't you go and publicly talk about her?" She said that he knows that she is the only girl who will sit there and ride a die for him before any of his friends or anybody else. Girl, ain't nobody riding for no broke nigga. I mean, first of all, if you got a woman that'll ride for you, you you got to stay with her forever. And if you don't stay with her forever, she need to be taken care of forever because uh. She stayed with your bum ass and she didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. <laughs> and so, they let it go. Now, guess what he posted today? While you said that trying to embarrass her, knew you had nothing, you knew y'all was on a break, you knew she didn't know that was your cousin. Today, Monday, he goes and he posts, I'm Miss J. Dismiss, throw him out, throw it away. That nigga knew what the hell he was doing. He 
now you miss me. Oh, nah. So, so one thing about a broke nigga, they gonna always need you again because they probably gonna end up broke again. And if they don't, they still gonna need you because you was the one that was there. These girls ain't riding for nobody, to be honest. But let alone a broke nigga or a nigga that used to be broke or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like 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 your day one. That old faith. You know what I'm saying? He knew that girl didn't mean that shit and he knew she didn't know that that was his cousin. Okay. He deserves to give that girl an apology for embarrassing her like that and even tell the bitch he should have kept that Who the hell Zona went through something with? He was wrong anyway for doing that to her lie. He didn't respect her. She don't respect her. <laughs> Honey. Jay, girl, it's all right to sit there and hold somebody down, but it's also all right to love somebody from a distance. Sometimes okay. you can you can help somebody only so much. But anyway, that yeah, that like sometimes that's all the time. Business. I've been down that road before. Heard it all. Before. <laughs> so I guess we'll be sitting them back together in a while. So y'all be okay. Boy, they they will be back together. Yeah. She gonna take them back. Just watch and see. Next <laughs> next one okay, is. Can you explain to us what actually happened? It don't look like she wanna explain, brother. Why y'all put like I know we on the internet and I know certain things should be on the internet, but everything don't belong on the internet. That moment that didn't belong on the internet. Like, CJ probably thought that people wasn't going to believe him. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why he did it. But she wasn't ready to talk. She don't even look like she was ready to talk. Like, I know that she had a miscarriage. And I haven't even watched this video. But from this, it looks like she's in pain. So it's just kind of like... <laughs> okay, let me hear it. Mm, she look like she is in pain. To find out that my baby is growing outside of my uterus, so I had to remove it. My baby had a heartbeat. The baby was growing, but it's either my life or the baby's life. So that's a big decision I had to make. Hmm. Went into surgery at like two o'clock in the morning. I grow outside the uterus, Lord. Where? Where it goes? It's okay to post your life, whatever you want to do, but they went in and posted about the miscarriage, and the supporters and the fan base didn't think that was worth it. Like, why do you have the camera in her face right after she lost her baby? That's like a tough time for a woman. Now, I can't tell people what to post. It ain't none of my business. That's your okay. life. You do what you want to do. But I just feel everything isn't meant to be the post. But that's, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. We can't tell them what they can and can't post. But I just hope she was 100% in for that because that's just a hard time. That's your, that's to me, that's your baby that right. you lost. So I'm not going to do me, but. Like, I don't like um, posting everything at all. Like, <clears throat> if I'm giving somebody a gift, I don't want to post it. If I'm giving some money to the homeless, I don't want to post it. If I buy something new, I don't want to post it because the way people perceive you after you do these things, you know what I'm saying? Some people say, you know, you ain't being humble because you buy a pair of shoes. And, and some people say that that pregnancy was fake just because it was recorded. You know what I'm saying? What she looked. Yeah. So you just, you just never know how somebody going to take what it is you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I just rather not post nothing. I got a new apartment. I was like, nope, not posting it. I, I've given, I've done a lot of things, and I, to me, I just don't feel like everything is postable. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that deep. Hey, by me. Let's keep it. This guys. Next one I got is Honey Black versus Honey Bay. Some things are just disrespectful. Okay, and a lot of people are getting it. So Honey Black made a song. So she put the crack in her booty? What are you what are you talking about? They did not find that appealing and she had some stuff to say about it. Hey, y'all keep talking about this Kodak situation, bro. Y'all it's weird, bro. Y'all be wanting to y'all just like and it be 
It be on that sh- What's wrong with that? This is all right. Come on, bro. Like the come on, yo. Obviously, weird, bro. Obviously, he wants some, bro. Come on, it's weird. After she said that, people. What she's saying is, because a lot of people is getting this misconstrued. Like, niggas know they women, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think people wake up every day with a vagina and titties and be like, I'm a man. Actually, some people do that. So, I take that back. Um, it's a borderline between j- transgender and lesbian. Okay? Um, she is a lesbian. She knows that she is a woman and she knows she has a vagina. She knows that she has breasts, but she knows that she can give you a nine inch uh, uh, rubble thing and, and, and put it down. You get what I'm saying? And she's proud of that. And she don't want no dick. The, the, the part of it being disrespectful is not that a, a, a man is trying to holler at a woman. It's the reference he gave in the song. That's number one. But number two, I don't... Not only do I not like women, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like even if I was to give a man a chance, it wouldn't be you, baby. So, you know, he acting like he Chris Brown, able to just say some shit like that. No, Kodak, it don't work out like that. You know what I'm saying? People weren't getting why she was upset. They were like, yeah, you're still a girl. You have a vagina and he's a guy. He's not attracted to you. And? Like she said, nigga, you weird. That shit weird. It ain't like she. This. Don't have not one lick of femininities. I'm making my own word when I say that. Not a lick of, 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 she has no feminine ways at all. None. Straight nigga. Grab, grab herself while she performing anything. Like, what are you getting from that? Why, why is it that you can actually be attracted to that is my thing. It's soft stud. It ain't like she's a right. girl who's wearing heels and a Anything. skirt she looked like a whole man a whole whole boy you know what i'm saying ain't nothing about her looking feminine you can't even At say all. she's pretty she's handsome like you know what i'm saying she's a handsome girl so to her that's weird you a whole thug nigga looking at a girl who act tall deeper than you right and, and voice deep as hell to her she's trying to say nigga you weird you can't Cause if I'm looking like a nigga, talking like a nigga, acting like a nigga, and you're attracted to me, then nigga, you want a nigga. Some. I'm talking about how you a girl but don't want you penetrated. Huh? How you a girl but don't want your shit penetrated. How you a dude with an asshole and don't want your shit penetrated. Like, it's gay men out here too. They get their ass penetrated. Why you ain't getting yours penetrated? Like, see, a nigga be ready to slap me, cuz. Let me tell you something. Mouth get real reckless. Stop playing with me. <laughs> But we mad at me because I want you, baby. Don't get mad at me because I want you. And that's what she's saying, and I agree with her. And it's disrespectful for her. It's disrespectful to her because she has her boundaries. The same way straight boys don't want a gay boy coming and saying, Damn, you fine, daddy. Ooh, daddy, I suck you up. Or a straight girl don't want another girl coming up to her like, Ooh, damn, let me strap on and fuck you. You're not going to want it. It's disrespect. It's disrespect. Right. And but y'all may say, but no, it's a girl and a boy. Okay, well, that boy likes boys and that girl likes girls. So they can say what they want to say because that's what they like. The same thing. He like women, but still. it's a- And just because he like women don't mean he don't mean she got to like him back. I don't get that. Like, he like women, so he can say that. Uh, No, he can't because I don't even like him. Like, I wouldn't even fo- You wouldn't even get a phone call or look at or nothing. <laughs> like, what? Thought, what made you think that you had the right to say that just because I'm a female? Absolutely not. Matter of respect. If you yeah. like her, say it to her. Or that. Or, you know what I'm saying? But you can, or if she says, I don't like how you did that publicly, just say, my man, I'm sorry, but I do find you attractive, but I'm sorry. Be a man about it. But it's still weird because she ain't, she don't, nothing about her screen girl. Nothing. Except the fact she was born with the vagina, honey. That's the only thing. But, baby... It's weird. You might okay. want to go test the waters on the rainbow side. He had the, he had the, uh, Facts. Huh, at the pot of gold shit. I'll see him tomorrow. I'll holler at him. If I get a chance to see him. Y'all, y'all do this internet too much, bro. I don't do this internet. I don't like the internet. I, I, deal, with, I deal with my issues when I, when, when person. Okay. Y'all, dick eat in that bro like a fuck. God damn, bro. Chill. And it be 
Like, y'all niggas on that so heavy. Y'all wet. And you just your girlfriend by saying you would F this other girl. You got a girlfriend. So at the end of the day, you just. And he's so sloppy with it. The other day, he was like humping the back of his girl and shit. Not humping her, literally humping the air behind her and shit. Got a nigga recording. Like, what? What are you doing? Thrown all the way around. Mm -hmm. That's She's stupid. Down. I guess when I see Kodak, I'll walk up and keep you off. And you can't get mad because it's what I want to do. Harry. All right. Don't do that. So, at the end of the day, if it ain't about me, Kodak, I want to do a little like Jackie Daddy. Next case. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. we have. Shane Dawson. He has been caught up in a couple of situations where people question the stuff that he says and he's very edgy he's very dark humor he jokes a lot and if you don't know how to take his humor then you shouldn't watch him but he came up with a podcast where he was talking about i guess he's had sex with his cat <laughs> I, don't, I don't know weird and the amount of following he has they did not like it they took it serious and all this stuff. so he had to make up these apologies and he was going crazy and he had explained to them that he it was a sketch that he was trying to talk about a dark sketch or weird crazy no you probably didn't do that to your cat <clears throat> but let me tell y'all something about shane dawson his demographic is white and you know white people love their animals dogs cats rats alligators raccoons i don't care what it is they love their animals so uh they actually love their animals more than they love humans. So, you was talking to the wrong people on that one. If you were playing, because I feel like he was serious. And that's disgusting. Crazy sketch, and he just turned it into a podcast that made it sound like it was really him doing this. He turned but it into a podcast. Really I feel like now people should know Shane just talks crap. But I guess people are like, is he trying to make this I talk crap thing? So whenever he does say something that's real, it's like, oh, well, he's probably just talking crap. So, you know, or is it real? So, you know, that's why people, I guess, react the way they react to his things. But anyway, if it ain't about me, let's go get some shrimp fried rice with a side of kitty. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Next one I got is Real versus the night. And I guess Real came outside and Real ended up in his car like this. Now, the only person that he could think of was Naima. But everybody's saying. So, <clears throat> y'all remember several Musty Man days ago? It was a uh, young group and they all youtube i mean excuse me instagram dancers and got into a crazy fights and shit this is that situation and supposedly she did that to his car like he blamed her for that publicly and what if she didn't do that like how you just gonna blame her publicly i don't understand that people be putting shit on people and she mess around to get killed or something and they ain't even do that oh my god Real, that you messy shit. So many people, you don't know who I ain't got your car. And Naima had already told him that God was gonna be looking for him when he got back home anyway for trying to fight her when she was in Atlanta, Georgia. But she claims that she had nothing to do with it. She didn't wasn't involved. She didn't tell them to do that. So then people are saying real fake did he did it himself. Look, like, this is my car. What are y'all talking about? Some it's fake. It's not fake, nigga. You see this? Let me get all of this, nigga. This is my car. I wouldn't fake that. Like, I ain't gonna touch. I ain't gonna touch it. Look, look, come on, Naima. The, the, the stuff that you do, and you like twenty-one years old. Come on now. At this point, I don't know who did it. So then Naima ends up putting this on her Instagram story, and that's what yeah, made him think you just on told on yourself. Me. It's just a lot going on. Y'all need to stop. Somebody gets hurt yeah. seriously. And then them kids like, playing a dangerous game. Me. So at the end of the day, y'all done did enough. She done got drunk. Carter got smashed. It is what it is. After that, they both going to jail. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, hell I no. Do so, if it ain't about me, let's get it. Let's go. Alright y'all, that's all I got for Mr. Monday. I love you so much. Y'all be awesome. Like I said, y'all on the next one. You, if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, I will see you next Monday. Stay messy. I love his ending. That's why I watch it all the way through. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all, let me edit this video and put it out for y'all. Kill me, okay?